Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. Um, in this video, we are going to be going through what some people I believe call womb healing. I've kind of stumbled upon this um, in my work. So in my work, I guide people to heal themselves and I, when I'm working a person back uh, through different events in their lifetime, um, we've gone back to back when they're in, still in the womb and at that point they're still taking on they're taking a lot a lot of emotions from what their mother was feeling and I kind of I kind of just um, not really stumbled upon this but you know just in working a person back and then I found out this is actually a way that um, other people will bring um, people back through to different lifetimes and I found it very fascinating that even though we don't can't agree on when a soul comes into the body, um, there's no consistency in that. I find that we are still energetically connected to our parents, our mom specifically. So at that point, it's almost like raw imprinting, or you're just such a sponge, and you're really taking on all those emotions from your mom. So let's say um, let's say all mommy wanted was a back rub, and now she's pregnant guess what? You're going to come in with this overwhelming feeling of not being wanted. Um, and maybe daddy wanted a little boy and you're born with a vagina. You're going to feel that. You're going to feel his, his emotion of feeling not wanted, not loved. And everything can be going great in your life and you're like, why do I feel this way? Well, it goes way back and you're actually taking on these emotions of your parents. Um, I had no idea before I started doing this, I'll be honest, but I've had people have these huge powerful releases and um, really improve their life in all kinds of ways. So I decided that we can do this with a group. <laughs> so I've done this done this one other time with a group and it, it was very powerful. So um, I'm hoping to offer this to you today. The other thing that we do when we're going back, I'm kind of doubling up a couple things here because when we go back, we can go back even further and look at that kind of planning stage of our of our life. And from, from that perspective, you can see the life from a totally different perspective and you can see um, what your purpose is, what you came here to do, what you came here to learn, why you chose to be born in the family you were, and it all makes sense. So I'd say just about every person that comes to see me, their number one question is, what's my purpose? So I'm rolling that into this one as well, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I kind of stumbled on this. Um, it's been pretty amazing though once once people see where this stuff comes from and they don't have to carry this anymore it's not part of them so I'd appreciate your feedback let me know how it goes for you um, I'm used to doing this one-on-one -on -one with a person but these are kind of the same steps so everyone has this ability so um, just follow along I'm gonna ask you to maybe grab a pen and paper to write down your experience and um, if you want to after this uh, be okay with however stuff comes out so we're going to start with some visualization. Everyone can do this because anytime you bring up a memory, that's remembering in your mind. So everyone can do this. Um, maybe you have an area that's kind of free of distractions. Um, and if you need to come back to it, you can come back to this. I'm going to be posting this video on YouTube with the rest of them. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to let it, give you a few seconds and uh, let you get comfortable. Area free of distractions. Um, and really just go with this process. You know, we're going to be going back. Uh, your subconscious mind has a perfect memory of everything. You may not be, rem be remembering being in the womb or being an infant or being at these early stages, but really try to tap into all those, those senses if you can. It may be a feeling. It may be a knowing, a sensing. Uh, you know, you may hear sounds. Uh, there may be sights, smells, all different things that you're pulling into this experience. And just because you don't have a conscious recollection of this, doesn't mean that your mind and body don't remember it. So what's happening is your everything can be going great in your life, but if you have that pattern of not loved, not loved, not loved, you can have everything in front of you that you could possibly want, and you're just going to have that running in the background. So part of going through this is um, kind of see what your mom was going through, see what your family was going through um, at the time you were born. All right. All right, so I'm just going to invite you to get comfortable, find a comfy spot free of distractions. If you want, you can throw on headphones if that helps you. Um, if you're catching this part way through, you can go back and listen to this again if you can't finish the whole video. I'm going to keep it kind of short. We're going to just get kind of right to the point. So, And then as we're going through this, trust anything that comes to mind. Like any, 
even as I'm doing this again, it's like, it feels like you're making it up. Doesn't matter, just go with it, and don't hold back any of the emotions coming up. That's a huge part of the release. So you may be crying, you may feel cold, hot, heavy, um, light, shaking, you may feel like you're spinning. That's all part of shaking off this energy, and get, getting rid of this energy that no longer serves. All right? So I'm going to invite you to get comfy. Um, I'm going to show you, everyone can visualize, that's why we start there. So we're going to start with visualization. So I'm going to invite you to just close your eyes. I'm going to show you how easy it is to visualize, how easy it is to pull in all those other senses if you can. All right, so just close your eyes. And if you've done my other videos before, this is a common one I do. So just follow along. All right. Now I would like for you to imagine a lemon. What does the lemon look like? Pick up the lemon. How does the lemon feel? Is it smooth, cold, bumpy? How does the lemon feel? Take a sharp knife, place the lemon on a cutting board, and slice the lemon in half. Now pick up half of the lemon. How? does the lemon smell? Now take a bite of the lemon. How does the lemon taste? You are eating a lemon. All right, whenever you're ready, you're back in this room, you can open your eyes. See how easy that was? <laughs> all right, so we're trying to bring in all those senses. As I said, when we're in this, remember your subconscious mind has a perfect memory of everything. Um, in the womb, you probably won't see anything. So try to tap into those other senses. It may be a feeling, a knowing, a sensing. So really trap, try, try, to, try to tap into all those senses. And don't worry about if you're making it up, just go with what your first impression. All right. All right. If you're just joining us, you're in perfect time. I invite you to get cozy. Place free of distractions. Settle in. All right. We're just going to start with a couple nice, big, deep breaths. Big, deep breath in. Big, deep breath out. And relax. As you breathe out, you feel your body relax more and more. And more. Another big deep breath. Each time you exhale, you deepen your relaxation further. All right, let's do one more big deep breath. Now I would like for you to imagine a beautiful ball of white light, a very beautiful thing to see. It glows and pulses and shimmers. And I want you to mentally place this white ball of light completely around your body so that you are completely surrounded by this beautiful ball of white light. This is your protection. This white light is a very powerful force. It can protect against anything. It will remain around your body the entire time that we do this. Nothing can harm you mentally or physically. 
You are protected. You are safe. You know it and you feel it. And this white light is like a magical bubble. A magical bubble that can transport you anywhere. As you become one with this magical bubble, it's almost as though you don't even have a body. As you become one, with this magical bubble that can transport you anywhere. I'm asking the bubble to move and carry you back, back to a memory, a memory from today or yesterday, something that happened today or yesterday. See the scene and fill it full of details. You're back to the time of yesterday or today when something was happening. Bring in all those senses, sights, sounds, smells. All right, so let's leave that scene and let's move back to a time when you were in your 20s. A time when you were in your 20s. If you're in your teens, pick a memory from now. But you are back in your 20s. What's happening now? What do you sense? Let's move back to when you were in your teens, a time in your teenage years. We're moving back to when you were a teenager. You're a teenager now. What's happening? What do you sense? Let's leave that scene and let's move back to when you were a child. Back to when you were a child. You are a child now. Maybe you're starting school. Maybe it's an early memory of a family. But you are a child now. What's happening? What? Do you sense?
Let's move back to when you were a toddler. A time when you were a toddler. Remember, your subconscious mind has a perfect memory of everything. You are a toddler now. What's happening? What do you sense? Trust anything that comes to mind. You're doing great. Let's move back to when you were an infant. Moving back to when you were an infant. Remember, your subconscious mind has a perfect memory of everything. What's happening? What do you sense now? Trust whatever comes to mind. Alright, so let's leave that scene and let's move back to when you were in the womb. A time when you were in the womb. You have a direct connection to your mother and everything that she's feeling. You are back in the womb. What are you experiencing now? Trust anything that comes to mind. Feel all the emotion as it comes up. Don't hold anything back. You are back in the womb. Now all those emotions that came up, you can now release. They do not belong to you, and you can now release them. They belong in the past, so we're going to leave them in the past. They no longer have to affect you anymore. We are releasing all of those emotions. Be okay with however it comes out.
right, now let's leave that scene and let's move back to before you were born. Back before you were born. You are back before you were born and you can see that life from an entirely different perspective. As you look at things before you came into this life, what was your purpose? Every lifetime has a lesson and a purpose. As you look at that lifetime, what was your purpose coming into this lifetime? Trust whatever comes to mind. As you look at that lifetime, what are the lessons to be learned? Why did you pick that lifetime? What were you hoping to learn? Trust anything that comes to mind. Alright, now we're going to drift and float away from that scene. We're going to drift back down into the room where we started. Drifting and floating back down into the room where we started. You find that you can come back faster than you went out. In a moment, I'm going to count to ten. On the count of ten, you'll be wide awake feeling simply amazing, knowing that you had a powerful shift, knowing your purpose. And you'll find that you can come back faster than you went out. And you'll remember those three things. What was that emotion? What was your purpose? And what was the lessons to be learned in this lifetime? One, two... You're beginning to breathe a little faster. Your blood's beginning to flow and circulate a little faster as you're beginning to wake up now. Three, four, you're becoming aware of the physical body, very much aware of the physical body. You can move your arms and legs around to get the muscles working. Five, six, you're becoming aware of the sounds in the room, the sounds outside of the room, very much aware of your surroundings. You're focused on them now as you're beginning to wake up now. 7, 8 coming up very nicely now, very nicely. And 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, feeling simply amazing, knowing you made a powerful shift, and knowing your purpose. Please take a moment to write down those three things. You know, the emotion that was released, the emotion that you were carrying, what your purpose was in coming here, and also, what were the lessons to be learned? Alright. And thank you for joining me on this video. I'd appreciate any feedback, as this is my first time doing this with a group. So I'd appreciate any feedback uh, that you have. And if you like this video, please subscribe to more on my YouTube channel. I have a lot more like this. So you can hit that subscribe button below on YouTube. Alright, we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.